Hi folks, it's Dane at Jonah Guitars, and uh, I figured it's long past due uh, to have a follow-up on on this archtop guitar that I pulled the back off of and rebraced the front and actually steamed the the top back into shape uh, and then built a bridge for it. And those those look like the same tuner. I was thinking I might have replaced the tuners on it. Anyway, uh, 1962. Um, 1213 um, arch top and it is solid it's not a laminate it's a solid uh, top and back uh, the sides I don't remember when I was in there the sides might well be laminated but they could also be solid it's made in the USA um, it definitely had some issues it was very sunken when I got it and uh, in fact the owner couldn't see putting any money into it so he just uh, he gave it to me uh, and I decided to go ahead and fix it uh, pretty much for what I might be able to get out of it. They, uh, uh, in decent shape like this one is now, they go for about 300 bucks. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to let it go for that. Uh, if you're interested, uh, let me know. The um, shipping probably be about 100 bucks. Uh, last time I shipped an electric, it was um, smaller than this. and it was right about 80 so they uh plus i'd want to you know ship this probably buy a shipping carton from steve mac or something so it had the the expandable bubble wrap that fits the guitar tightly uh or correctly anyway um so like i said solid birch top and back uh had the back off uh i if you watch those videos it's a little dusty it's been hanging in the shop for probably a year now and uh, and nothing's you know like I did all that work inside of it nothing's blown up on it so I think it's gonna hold stable um, pretty decent action there's not an adjustable truss rod it's just a regular truss rod um, did not bind the back I actually just decided to paint the binding on the way they had originally and uh, not 100 percent happy with the color it's a little yellower than the original white that I put on it uh, excuse me that they put on it and um, so anyway I think I've got right now uh, this is going to be a set of 10 through 52 probably uh, earthwood uh, rock and blues because there's a non wound G on it and that's a that's the uh, what they do on that particular set now I, I thought you might like to hear some finger picking or finger style, but I have this snag on the end of my finger. It's winter time and they crack and split and they I super glue them together. And then it's not, uh, not, not like I can finger pick anyway. But. sound bad you know it's these uh, older instruments this I'm pretty sure I looked this up and, I, and if you watch the series on this you know I think it was about 40 bucks brand new uh, in 62 which is <laughs> hard to imagine but I made this bridge it's not adjustable it's a uh, one piece uh, ebony, um, just floating bridge. And uh, I'll show you the top still. I'll, I'll show you the back because the back is what I made the molds out of so that the uh, top would uh, be the same shape as the back. Because I figured that in the factory, they didn't have two different steam presses for top and backs on these things. So that the top should probably be pretty much the way the back was. 
You see, this is, it's running out pretty nice on that top. It doesn't have any dents or anything in it. Uh, I mean, other than what I couldn't get out initially when I did the re-steaming on it, but it's actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, it needs to be uh, cleaned up again. Like I said, uh, it's been hanging out in the shop here for probably close to a year and uh, a little dusty and a little tape residue but from when I masked off for the, the paint on the binding. This, this guitar likes G, G chords. It sounds really good. <laughs> short sweet video uh, if you're if you're interested let me know uh, and we'll uh, we'll make it happen if uh, uh, if you know somebody that might be interested uh, share the video um, I know there's people that collect uh, uh, vintage harmonies and uh, uh, someone may be looking for just this item so uh, thanks a lot the folks take care um, it's coming up on uh, Thanksgiving here hope you guys have a great holiday Oh, I should mention really quick, um, but uh, if you've noticed, I haven't had a video out in, in a while. My computer had crashed, and it took me a while to get that thing uh, back in action. And it was crashed because of an update that uh, I didn't ask for. I just woke up one morning, and it had updated itself, and it wasn't working right. So anyway, uh, thanks again. Take care.